So we're optimistic that over time this will stabilize, but we cannot compensate for the meltdown, uh, economic and social meltdown of Lebanon, our host nation. So, you know, as I've made clear, uh, there's really no basis in fact for this rumor. The meeting in which I supposedly met with senior officials to discuss this option never took place and I checked with trustees. There really hasn't been a discussion of moving the university uh, ever uh, that any of them can recall. So I can't be more categoric than that. You know, AUB is deeply rooted in Beirut and Lebanon and there would be no sense relocating such a massive uh, enterprise, not financially really, but but intellectually and otherwise completely to Dubai or anywhere else. Beirut provides a, a wonderful environment. Five years ago last month, I promised the AUB community in my inaugural address that AUB would be more intellectually elite and less economically elite. So yes, it's more acute now in Lebanon, but the support of our students, including poor and working class Lebanese, Syrian and Palestinian refugees, and financially disadvantaged but intellectually gifted students from even poorer countries like Afghanistan and Yemen, and more than 16 African countries, uh, this is something we've put our minds to. Our 89% on-time graduation rate is comparable to the best students in the world. and. Uh, you know, our endowment is significant, but it's not huge. And the faculty, except those with endowed professorships, are paid from tuition and research grants. However, as we've shown over the last five years, we've raised the total amount of financial assistance to students from $51 million in 2015, 2016, to more than 90 million projected in this academic year of 2021. So we're optimistic that over time this will stabilize, but we cannot compensate for the meltdown, uh, economic and social meltdown of Lebanon, our host nation. Since I started, we've seen an increase in the average financial support from the US government annual between USAID, MEPI, and other agencies of state and elsewhere from just over 12 to just over $19 million a year. And that's been increased. There's no question that even more support is needed during this particularly difficult period. I have to say, I'm confident that both Democrats and Republicans recognize more than they have in decades, the singular importance of AUB. And I'm confident more support will be sought and hopefully realized for our stellar research, teaching and service programs, as well as our uh, hospital. Uh, AUB will be one of the key sites. We're also one of the sites that will train other uh, uh, health systems to, um, to uh, learn how to vaccinate properly given the challenges, for example, with the Pfizer vaccine. Once the program is off the ground, we see ourselves uh, working to obtain additional vaccines outside the government umbrella, but with full support from the government. We can advise, which we do, but the granting agencies themselves have to insist on monitoring, given the long and troubling track record of waste and mismanagement in many serial Lebanese governments. founding president of Sudan, was an AUB graduate, some of the founding leaders of Syria, first physician in Kuwait, some of the leaders uh, in Saudi Arabia and the Gulf are AUB graduates. Same for Iraq and uh, the African Arab countries. So there are tremendous opportunities to remind them to collaborate in the creation of new opportunity, but it should be planned. We want to lead in collaboration with other nations and other universities throughout the Gulf and throughout the Arab world. 
I think it might be just a little bit early to discuss satellite facilities and until we can agree on a shared plan with consistent timelines, commitments, and values. So it makes sense to have these discussions. But I'm very candid when I say none of them has crystallized as far as an agreement on a satellite campus yet. We're talking to folks about what we can do to expand our mission. We are, as I keep saying, the greatest American university abroad. And we have a lot to offer, but it's got to be the right, as the engineers say, the right impedance fits.